If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Gunna released his new album Drip Season 4 yesterday and I made a lot of videos about this thing leading up to its release. Of course, I was very hyped up about this because this was going to be the last ever Drip Season record and we got it yesterday on January 7th. So today I wanted to go over my thoughts, over my review of DS4 now called DS Forever as he now called it in this video so let's jump straight into it. So we got 20 tracks in total on this thing even though we only got 19 yesterday because that Drake track called Pussy Power that was announced on the track list that he dropped on Wednesday is not on this final record that we got. Now this was of course uh, a surprise for many people but I think that he's going to put it on somewhat of a complete edition or somewhat of a deluxe just like Trippy Red did. This just you know benefits him because people are going to come back to his album once that Drake track drops because obviously that is the, the, the big song that everyone's going to gravitate towards and they're going to play a lot of his other songs as well so this is kind of a sneaky uh, promotion technique that Gunna is using here. Well anyway let's look at the 19 tracks we actually did get. Starting off I want to say that in total I like this album better than Wanna. Y'all know that I was not a big fan of Wanna I thought it was very monotone I thought it lacked you know diversity and it lacked some sort of switching up for the beats they all sounded the same you know his flow when a lot of the stuff sounded the same. So I'm happy that this album is actually better than Wanna, at least in my opinion. That doesn't mean it's perfect, but to me, this is really a step up because yeah, I really doubted uh, Wanna and after that, even Gunna moving forward in his career. But, you know, it, he proved me wrong. The uh, album starts off with Private Island, which is a very chill track. This is probably one of the songs that I'll go back to the most. Y'all know that I'm really into that mellow, chill Gunna style. I love Nine Times Out of Ten, for example. I love Dirty Diana where Sun came out off of uh, the Wanna Deluxe, so that's really my type of Gunna track, so I'm really happy he put that on here. Next up, we have Push and P with Young Thug and Future, the single that was used to promote this album, really, um, and I thought that track is pretty solid, even though lyrically and just in terms of structure for the song, this is really a mess, but I, I get that people are going to listen to the song in the end, so he really knew what he was doing with this one. Um, I, of course, have a couple of favorite tracks on here just to highlight a few, I thought that the 21 Savage feature on Thought I Was Playing was amazing. That whole track in general, Gunna brought some energy to that. I really liked that. A lot of cake, Gunna went hard on. I thought that the solo tracks with just Gunna on them would kind of be like boring and sometimes the features make a Gunna record. But th a lot of cake, is he definitely goes hard on that one. Like I can't deny that. I haven't seen Gunna in that form in a long time. I also thought that You and Me track with Chloe Bailey was pretty good, even though they could have done so much more more with that I feel like you know structure lacked and more vocal range from both of them lacked and this could have been so much more the little baby feature kind of disappointing honestly I thought that that would be more interesting but it's really just a little baby gonna track that you would expect I you already know I, I didn't like blindfold off of one either so whenever you know gonna has baby on a track I don't seem to like it that much um, but baby really has the potential to make a track but he just didn't on this one uh, I'm really annoyed by too easy just because I've heard it's you know so much now but every time that thing comes on with the little like the harp playing and stuff like that I just get really annoyed and we have two versions of that on here the one with just future and the one with Roddy Rich he also dropped the music video for the remix which is actually pretty cool um, but I'm just really annoyed by that track it's all over TikTok and stuff like that um, I thought Die Alone with Young Blue and Chris Brown was pretty good as well that was you know a little switch up from the usual Gunna style so I really like that and then on the last track So Far Ahead and then also Empire that's like a two track and one um, I thought that that was actually a pretty good, you know, even lyrical performance from Gunna because we're just not used to him doing that like that. You know, he, he's done stuff like this with, for example, Make It Far or Far was the, the title off of Wanna with Young Thug. I thought that track was also pretty, you know, introspective and just reflective. And he's done that again on that last track, which I really liked that at least there was some sort of you know, ending to the album, and it didn't just end like a you know, like the playlist album that it is. We can't really compare this to like Don FM from the weekend that dropped the same day because it's just a whole you know different thing. The weekend really created his own universe with its own narrative and like a real closed body of art. While this is more like a track list, this all of course it shows in the recording processes and stuff like that from the weekend and also Gunna, but that's just always how it's been. So I didn't have that expectation at all. 
I still gotta say that the cover art looks amazing. I think the cover art fits perfectly for this record. I already said that before the album dropped, but now it's just proven to me that this is truly an amazing cover art for this record. And it just looks really dope when you play the songs on your phone and you got that picture on your phone. So while this album can't be compared to like a The Weeknd album, for example, I do think that at least the individual tracks have more personality, have more, you know, character themselves than they did on Wanna. And that is something that I wanted him to to improve and he definitely did that even though you know at some points lyrically and in terms of vocal range or just not sounding bored he's still lacking a little bit um but he definitely show i still got to point out a lot of cake he went hard on there that was really surprising for me and i know that gunna has done that before but it was just like another proof that he could really do that so while it's as i said on some points he's still lacking all in all this album is quite a bit better than wanna and that's what i wanted it to be i'm excited what gonna has coming up in the future because this is the last drip season he's not holding on to those old mixtape series he's doing anymore and we're seeing him not necessarily with wanna but in the way that he now wrote this out as well with the trailer and the um the album cover especially i said that that looked like a real album and not just a drip season not to say that a drip season is not a real album but the mixtapes so far have always had this cartoonish style to it and this looks like a really serious uh, album so I'm, I'm really excited what he got coming up in the future maybe he's working on some more creative stuff to express himself some albums that might not sound like a lot we've heard from him before i would really like that every time gonna drops i have so much you know I, I feel like there's so much potential for him to do something with his voice because he has a very unique way of hopping on the track you know to some people and sometimes to me it sounds very like he's bored but it shouldn't honestly add to a track as i said on those mellow tracks sun came out dirty diana nine times out of ten if he does more with that for me that would be the best way to for him to do it but i know he got his own fan base and i know you know the, the gunna fans are always quick to defend him um so they're probably gonna do it on this video as well but um yo i actually like this thing i, I was not you know expecting to like ds4 but this is better than wanna and this is honestly really a step up and more than i thought this could be so uh, shout outs to gunna for really coming through with this album i don't think it's gonna sell as well and do as well as don fm but at least he really put out you know a potent contender for that one so shout outs to gunna this is actually a pretty good gunna album ds4 gunna i actually like this thing better than wanna so yeah that's my thoughts my opinion now when to know what you think about this were you excited for this what were you expecting from this album did it come true what do you think about the tracks on here what was your favorite track what was your least favorite track what did you think of the features was it better or worse than wanna or any of the other drip season mixtapes he's dropped so far all of that let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.